What's better than dessert? That is dessert on the go. What I mean on the go? I mean that we're gonna put dessert in a nice vessel, a glass or a jar, so you can even walk around your house and eat it without any issue and any spillage on the floor. You guys, I promise, you're not gonna wanna miss this one. I'm Fabio Viviani, join me in my home where I'll show you how to cook the exact Italian food my family makes back home in Florence, Italia. On Chin Chin to Italia. All right, the first things we're gonna do for a good tiramisu is to prepare strong espresso ahead. Now, we already have strong espresso. The reason why we prepare it ahead is because you have to dip your cookies in it and your finger as well. And if it's too hot, the cookie will melt and crumble and that's no good business. The second things that you have to do is to prep the mascarpone cream. So what we do, it's very simple. You get a stand-up mixer with a nice ball and a, a whisk attachment. You're gonna keep yourself with a bunch of egg yolk and we're gonna put the egg yolk in the container here. Then we're gonna add a few things. We're gonna add some white sugar. It's a dessert at the end of the day. So we're gonna add the sugar in it. And now the magic will start to happen. The whisk will beat the egg yolk and foam them to a stiff peak. What's a stiff peak? It's pretty stiff. Peak because it's gonna look like a fluffy cloud made out of egg yolk and sugar. How do we do that? Very simple. Speed, air, and the beating itself will do the job. And you really gotta do nothing for about two, three minutes. So as this is beating, we're gonna take a break a drinking break, a bathroom break, whatever break you like. You just gotta let this run for three minutes on its own, and we'll be right back. Check this out. Quite different from the egg yolk that you're used to, huh? Right now, it's what we call zabaione in Italy, which is basically whipped egg yolk with sugar. So now, one thing I never do, but I'm gonna do it for your viewing pleasure. Measuring units. I need to measure some vanilla extra. Now, naturally, I'm a chef. I hate direction. Mostly, I hate to listen to direction. So what I would do, I would just open this bottle and go like this, and put a little bit of vanilla. A little bit, a little bit more, doesn't matter. But for the sake of camera and for the sanity of uh, a recipe, I'm gonna use half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Look at that. Let's add two more things. We got the little vanilla extract inside. We're gonna add a touch of cinnamon, just a touch. I understand it's not traditional, but this is not a traditional tiramisu. This is a little bit more, it's kicked up a notch. We got some chocolate wafer in it, a hint of cinnamon. We got some dolce de leche. Ah, fancy, I thought so. Little bit of cinnamon in it, just a touch, just a touch, don't get too excited about it. And now we're gonna put the mascarpone cream. Mascarpone is basically where cream cheese wants to be when it dies and go to heaven. If cream cheese was a good cheese for his entire life, and then it just all sudden dies, we're gonna take care of cream cheese in heaven and we're gonna make it mascarpone. It's important now that you pay attention. Do not, do not mix it too fast because if you do mix it too fast, the mascarpone is gonna turn into butter. Yeah, butter. And, and that's not good for the recipe. So now, we're gonna slowly incorporate that. See that? Is slowly incorporating. But at one point, you need to show the mascarpone who's in charge. And by doing that, you gotta give it a like a little quick, and then you're done. Ready? So now it's getting incorporated. So now let's confuse the mascarpone. Ready? That's it. You just need to do that to get rid of the little bits on the paddle and on the whisk, but you're good. Now, 
It's very important. Two glasses. Strong espresso. There. Lady fingers. Don't ask. I don't know why that's called lady fingers. Does not look like a lady finger to me. Just very bulky and oddly large. Does not look like a lady finger. So now, here's what we gotta do. It's very important. We have a few components of these. We have the cookies. We have the cream. We have the chocolate. We have the powdered chocolate. And we have the wafers. I mean, good wafer. Wow. Wow. Gustavo Vida. Good wafer. First time I have them. Very good. All right. And some dulce de leche. Because in case you didn't hear, we are making dessert. So there is quite a few ingredients here. First and foremost, soak your cookies. One and two. So basically, you only soak them for a second or they're gonna fall and crack and never recover from it. So they gotta absorb enough espresso without falling apart. That's the trick. Let me show you something, very important. Very important to understand the dynamics of tiramisu. Look at this, if I press, do you see the coffee comes out of the cookies? But if I let it go, the cookie absorb the coffee back. That's the, the signal that we are all waiting to learn that it's soaked perfectly, all right? Now, cream. All right. One. And two. Now, you ready for this? Because now, now we take these to the moon. Now we're adding all kinds of chocolate, number one. First of all, a little cocoa on the top. Light, all right? One, two, there. Then we're gonna allocate a few chocolate wafer. And uh, at the very end, uh, because we can, and if we can, we do, a dollop of dolce de leche in between. There. So now, we got the tiramisu, but tiramisu can't be left alone. One of the Italian greatest pleasure of the after dinner is affogato, drown. Affogato is not that we're gonna drown anybody, of course. We are soaking delicious ice cream with the remaining of the espresso coffee. Now, you're not gonna need a whole pot of coffee to do this, so let me do two things. One, I'm gonna get gelato. Two, I'm gonna get a glass for the affogato, and I'm gonna show you what to do with the leftover coffee. I'll be right back. All right, gelato. <laughs> I mean, look at this thing. It looks gorgeous. Like, it smells gorgeous too. All right, so first things you do to make an affogato that pairs with your tiramisu, you get a nice cream scoop, look at this. And you scoop it big. Bam, and you drop it in. Now, we got the gelato there. Amaretto. The almond liquor. Just a shot, don't, don't be greedy. Look at that. There. And now, the remaining of the coffee. Boom! There it is. Deliciously decadent and ready to go anywhere. In winter time, you can even add the hot coffee. Sit down on the couch and sip it while you're watching a movie. But right now, this is getting into my belly. I can even wait to take this and go. Absolutely delicious dessert and another great episode of Chin Chin.